The Lenovo Yoga 9i Gen 7 is a convertible notebook with a 14-inch touchscreen display, a 360-degree hinge that allows you to use the computer as a notebook, tablet, or something in between, and a 12th Gen Intel Core P-Series 28-watt processor. While the lid is Lenovo's standard aluminum with a Yoga logo, it contrasts, even when closed, with the polished curved edges around the bottom case. I haven't had issues with scratches, but I do wonder how the polished bit will hold up over time. Those polished edges feel nice against the wrist. While sharper, boxier edges haven't typically been an issue for me, I did actually notice how comfortable the rounded edges were when I put my hands on the laptop to type. In a clever move, the 360-degree hinge on the Yoga 9i is a speaker, which we'll get to more in the audio section. This allows for the speakers to face you, whether you're using the Yoga as a computer, or holding it as a tablet. The 14-inch screen has a moderate bezel around it, especially on the top where the webcam is. It's been expanded into a small notch, though it doesn't go into the screen, or protrude out beyond the line of the lid, keeping things flush, so it can stand up in tent mode. There are only a few ports on the Yoga 9i, an increasingly common theme on thin notebooks. On the bright side, Lenovo isn't killing off legacy ports here. USB Type-A is the first port on the left side, alongside a pair of Thunderbolt 4 ports. On the right side, there's a USB-C port and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The Yoga 9i is the first laptop we've tested with an Intel 12th Gen Core P-Series processor. Specifically, this notebook runs on an Intel Core i7-1260P, a 12-core and 16-thread processor with 4 performance cores, and 8 efficient cores. In the Yoga, Lenovo also included 16 gigs of RAM, and a 1TB of SSD. The Yoga 9i boasts a 16x10 LA display that gets plenty bright, and looks nice and colorful too. To test out the 3840x2400 touchscreen, I watch one of our go-to test videos, the 4K, open source short tears of steel. It's a bad film, but it's got tons of colors and eye candy to check. The Yoga was quite bright at 352 nits on our light meter, beating the Spectre 339 nits by just a bit. But the Surface Pro 8, even without a LED, literally outshined the competition at 453 nits of brightness. The keyboard on the Yoga 9i stretches across its aluminum and build. The keys are comfortable enough, and I never felt as if I was bottoming out and tiring my fingers. I hit 106 words per minute on the 10 fast fingers typing test, which is pretty standard for me. The Yoga 9i lasts just over a full workday on a charge. On our battery test, which is laptops browse the web, run OpenGL benchmarks and stream video at 150 nits with Wi-Fi on, Lenovo's 2-in-1 ran for 8 hours and 8 minutes. Lenovo has gone a bit overboard with the extras here, and I'm not a fan of it. The sheer amount of software that's pre-installed cheapens the device, which is otherwise premium. And that's before the stuff that comes with Windows 11, like Disney+, Plus, Prime Video and Spotify. If you want a slim portable without sacrificing power, the Yoga 9i Gen 7 is for you. Its convertible design still fits room for both USB Type-A and Thunderbolt ports, and the Intel Core i7-1260 p CPU didn't disappoint in our benchmark tests. The OLED display is bright and colorful, although you may not find it on the lower-end models. If you prioritize a faster refresh rate, the 120Hz screen on the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 may entice you to consider a detachable design, though as ever, you'll also need to pay separately for a keyboard. But if you want that traditional laptop form factor with the opportunity to use it as a tablet when you feel like it, plus great sound and a sleek design that's easy on the eyes and wrists, the Lenovo Yoga 9i is a pretty impressive option. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Subscribe to my channel and leave a short comment. I will be grateful to you. See you soon.